Well, there, the Border Patrol agents, President Bush again refused to pardon, and now Congress itself has refused to even consider. So Ignacio Ramos and Jose Alfonso Campion stew in prison. And Tom Tancredo just stews, period. The presidential candidate is here, and fair warning, he is angry. Congressman, good to have <laughs> you back. Thank You're not you. Angry. Angry. What did Congress do? Yeah. Well, you know, I know this is the season to be jolly, but uh, this omnibus bill that we just passed, it's very difficult to be jolly about this. In it, among other many ugly things, they stripped out a provision, which the House put in, it was my amendment, that said that we could use no funds, the Department of Justice could use no funds to incarcerate Ramos and Compien. If it had stayed in, gone to the president, be signed, they would be out of prison. And of course, this was done without anybody's fingerprints on it. That's how these things happen in an omnibus bill. So you can't just say, well, Senator so and so did it, or Representative so and so. It's done in conference. You never know for sure. And so it is, and that's why it happens, because everybody can point the other way. It's, it's disgusting. And that's, that's not all they did. They essentially stopped the fence, by the way. They, they took away the provision that, that uh, protected businesses. Uh, from a requiring English if they were going to have somebody work for them. That protection has been stripped. All this in a bill that's supposed to be, of course, just about funding. Well, let, let me ask you, Congress. It looks like these uh, Border Patrol agents are going to stew in prison for a long time unless they get a last minute reprieve from the president before he leaves office. They're not going anywhere. Or, well, there is, there is hope. And, you know, if you're a praying person, and I am, <laughs> And this is a good time for a lot of people to, to make a request of, uh, of the Lord, and that is to, to let these people home for Christmas. And here's how it could happen. Um, the appeals court heard the appeal uh, of Ramos and Compiègne a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now. And a couple of the judges mentioned something during the, the discussion that leads us to believe that we've got them on our side. They said something to the effect that they believe that the government had had uh, aggressively, too aggressively pursued these people and they couldn't understand that they didn't tell the jury about the fact that, uh, Mr. that, that Mr. DeVia, the guy that got shot coming across the border with all these drugs, they didn't tell the jury about his past and that, that he wasn't just somebody doing this, you know, to pay for his mother's operation. He was part of a, a drug cartel. All, all this information was withheld. And, and so there is hope. There is hope that the, that the appeals court could come down, overturn this thing, and, and get them what out it, that what way. What is your gut feeling on that? I don't see that happening. <laughs> It's probably no more than 50-50 because maybe the, maybe they would require a review. Maybe they'll require a re, another trial. Any of those things are, of course, better than just saying, um, no, we, we, we dismiss it, the, the whole All thing. Right. So there's hope. And, you know, this is okay. a season of hope. Let's hope that they, let's hope they get out by Christmas and, and are with their families, okay? You never know, Congressman. Thank you very That's much. It. Tom Tancredo right, in buddy. Washington.